are here today at the Jenny Packin Studios to gain exclusive behind the scenes access and find out some of her design secrets. Let's go inside and meet the designer herself. Jenny, we're back here now in your studio. Um, how many people do you have working with you here? I'm in the studio, we've got about 30 people uh, daily, so um, broken into sort of different departments, really. So I'm wondering if you can just take us through how actually a garment kind of comes from design straight up to a garment that we see behind us now, and where, where do you gain your inspiration from? Sometimes it's just a, a postcard, sometimes it's, a, a, I don't know, a show you go and see, a book, a painting. Um, this time it was it was kind of very sort of definite. We we'd been actually to a market in Paris. We just saw this little dress hung up, um, which is a very sort of I don't know when a really sort of funny thing. It looks like a sort of trapeze artist dress. It did really kind of spark the sort of enthusiasm for the show. When does it actually come to the design and the drawing stage? Um, well, the next thing for me after the sort of getting the feel of the collection is, is the colours. I think without the colours, I can't really design. You know, I have tried in the you know in the past to sort of design and think, okay, well, I'll design it and then I'll decide what colour it should be. But I think if you're designing a red dress or you're designing a pale pink dress, you're very influenced by the colour and what you're you're trying to create with it, and they're usually sort of different types of dresses. So here you've got some sketches of um, your next collection, Autumn Winter, 2008. Can you tell me a little bit about them and how kind of the beading kind of relates to the sketches? We've got two silhouettes basically this season. We've got this sort of very short one which was very much inspired by the trapeze dress we found. And then we've got, we've got this very kind of beautiful 30s um, long dress where we've got the sort of flare coming out sort of below the hips. So we've really kind of stuck to two shapes and just sort of played around with it. Hey, we've got some examples here of some of the beading yeah, and the intricate detailing. Some of the swatches of the beading for the show. And what we do is we, we do all the sort of designing and then we send it out to the factories and they send us back a swatch of the proposed beading. Quite often I really like enjoy working with just like one colour and then you're getting the texture from from the effect. I mean, obviously here, you know, again, you've got overlapping sequins and then you've got the ostrich feather and it's, it's just really textural, but at the same time, because it's all one colour, it's quite simple. Well, you've got a collaboration with Patricia Fields that she actually uh, styled your show a couple of seasons ago and also you actually worked on her with Sex of the City when it very first started. How did you actually meet Patricia to start with? Well, that's how it started with the Sex in the City. Um, she was working on that and she'd come over to London to see... Um, the shows, you know, her kind of involvement with fashion is from a different perspective. It's not so much sort of, you know, magazines or fashion shows. Um, so she kind of, I, f I found that she had a really nice interpretation on the clothes, which was that, you know, they were beautiful evening dresses and that's, you know, hopefully what they're always going to be. But, you know, the fact is that you can sort of put a bit of edginess in, in it by making it slightly more sort of rock and roll or the idea of these sort of girls sort of tumbling out of a party, you know, early in the morning with these fantastic dresses on coming down the catwalk. For me, I always wanted to design the whole thing, you know, so that if we have a fabric, we've created the fabric. If we have a print, we've created the print. Generally, they're, they're looking for that attention to detail, something that makes it really special. And I think on an evening dress, um, you know, that, that's really important now. Jenny, thanks so much for speaking to us today. We're really excited to come and see this show. So we'll see you in London. Thank you. <laughs>